what is good youtube back at it again with another video today we are breaking down skepta chip young ads mains the video for mains this one was a mad sporadic video like it wasn't planned in any way shape or form and as you watch these breakdowns you'll probably realize a lot of the videos or some of the videos that i do are kind of just on the spot and i make it happen just because a lot of the time even though i do like to work with a crew and i do like to have a treatment i do like to plan because that's when you're going to get your best visuals when you plan and prep it i do like the challenge of just turning up and shoot and just taking it as it comes so this was one of those ones where I got a call from Chip and bear in mind, this was at a time when Corona was just coming into play. It was just about to, I think we were just about to go into lockdown. So a lot of the things were closed and that's, I think, why we didn't do a big video. Um, we just couldn't get access to certain places. Places were starting to close. We weren't in full lockdown yet, but we were about to be. So um, yeah, I got the call from Chip. He said, look, I need to shoot this quickly before we go into lockdown and yeah literally rocked up with me myself and my camera um a small lighting kit i think I, at the time i had the aladdin which i was using predominantly as an overhead light to light them and a 650 head um that i was using to kind of bounce into walls and just illuminate the whole space evenly because i didn't have the craziest of lighting setups and i didn't have a team to help me light I kept it proper simple, just overhead light and then bouncing light around the room. As I said, super unplanned. I didn't know that I was going to be doing this probably like until a day before the shoot and it needed to be shot and out within like 48 hours. So I'd shot it on, I can't remember what day, but I'd shot it that day, went back, edited it that night and into the next day for it to come out the following day, I believe. So yeah, super quick turnaround as well. And I feel like, yeah, we might as well just get right into it. Boy, don't sleep in the trap house, now that's risky. Ain't no deals. So just quickly, this was the first time working with Skepta. I had met him a couple of times before this, but this is the first time working with him. I think like the second working with Young Ads. I think prior to this, we had done Young Bane, him and Dirt by LB, the, the Gucci main song. Yeah, I believe it was that one. And then this, yeah, I can't remember how many times I've worked with Chip, but I didn't really um, have to do much direction, to be fair. The guys are all seasoned artists. They literally came alive as soon as I switched on the camera and said action. So yeah, the kitchen scenes were kind of skeptics and as the scenes, we kind of divided the, the apartment up into like three main bits. And this was, yeah, ads and Skepta scene. We've got a living room scene and then there's like a hallway scene that um, you'll see throughout the video. Criminal pick me, now I got large amounts, but I need a different account. I cannot so with the editing of this video, because it was all done in an apartment and there wasn't much going on, like it was literally just the guys performing because like I said, we couldn't really do much more being at the times we was getting shut down. I knew I had to bring this video to life. And like I said, with the NSG options video, I don't feel like I had enough footage to do so. I knew it was going to be a lit video and everyone's going to watch it because of like the three titans that are on the song. But visually, I like my videos to do as much talking as the song does. So yeah, I went away and literally took a good 10 to 12 hours editing this. And when I say hours, I mean straight hours at the computer, not moving and chopping this up. And I remember on the day, for some reason we was watching an NSG video on the screen and Skepta mentioned something about ah oh, who's the guys that shoot these NSG videos um we need stuff like that in the video yeah, I let him know that it was me that did it and it was like alright cool since you said that I'm gonna have to go extra hard with these edits and bring this video to life because being as you've recognised that as a thing in the NSG videos I need to incorporate something similar in this video. Um, when you do get the chance to plan and you 
replicate what's being said lyrically in their visual it always helps like it always helps paint a picture of what they're saying and nine times out of ten the artist is going to say yes to it if you write it in the treatment if you've written what they're talking about it just shows that you've listened to the song and you've taken it in and understood the assignment i guess so if i go back um to that ad lib high another thing that i like to do in my visuals is bring out what's being said on the track and sometimes i'll do it by putting the lyrics on the screen and sometimes it will just be one word ad libs like this and i feel like it really helps one bring the visual to life two the audience take in what's being said in the ad libs because sometimes you can miss it because it's like the beats jumpy or you're listening to the lyrics more than the ad libs or whatever it might be so visually i like to try and incorporate ad libs on screen by writing them out and doing an effect like this where you can clearly see it but it's not super overwhelming well i guess this one is because it's taking up the whole screen but it's still the footage you're still seeing the footage i do try and do it when I can and when it suits the song. It doesn't always suit every song and it doesn't suit every video. Hands on man, no hands on grams, but I still got my hands on grams. If there was anything I could change in this video, it would probably be this scene here. And it's for me, it's the lighting. I probably would have used a different light or try and um, shape the light a bit better because at the moment I feel like it is slightly overexposed on his hat I would have tried and I have a turn the light down but with that you start to obviously lose light in the scene so what I would have liked to have done is probably put the light higher and try and keep it off the walls just so we're not getting um this overexposed hat and, and the light leaks on the wall these effects here I don't think I'd done them prior to this and although I said I wanted this to have the NSG style of edits, I wanted to have a unique element to this as well and this was pretty much it, having the three um, bars throughout the um, video and adding different clips in it and what also that helped me replicate is obviously having three people on the track. At the beginning of the song, if I go back quickly you'll see I've started the video like that and you're seeing ads chip and Skepta and it kind of yeah it's basically that three guys on the track and that's what those three bars kind of represent all three of them having their time to shine and me visually just making that a thing throughout so as I said before I like my videos to progress again because I didn't get as much footage as I would like to be in that we shot this all in the one location. Um, I really tried to utilize Skepta scenes throughout because he's got two verses. So we see him at the beginning and then we're seeing him again here. Um, in the beginning he's obviously in the kitchen and by the time we get to this verse I've incorporated so we, we're just seeing him in the living room and we're seeing him with Chip. And yeah with that I feel like with the subtle kind of changes in sets, even though it's all in the one location, the video progresses a little better. And it's not like you're watching the same thing throughout the whole video, even though it is yeah, the same location and the same kind of look, it is progressing a little bit. And going into other videos where I've got a bit more time to plan and prep, I'll always try and do that. I'll always try and make sure that what you're watching in the beginning half of the video is not the same thing that you're watching at the end, like I mentioned before. With the video, as you watch it through, the kind of color scope is very black, gray, and white. Like they're wearing, all three of them are wearing, yeah, those, those tones, um, white top, black trousers or gray trousers and, and gray or, or black trainers so with that because there weren't much color to work with i really made sure that the skins popped so or the, the skin tone popped throughout yeah all the people that were in the video basically so yeah i went in and kind of it was easier to mask out the browns and the, the beiges and everything when i was grading this and just boost them up a little bit just so yeah they're they're very 
prominent throughout because otherwise yeah it is pretty much very great in, in in the video throughout because there's not much color that is mains by skepta chip and young ads and yeah there wasn't much that went into this video but i feel like this was a, a key moment in my career being that i got to work with yeah skepta young ads and chip on a legendary project which was insomnia um i don't know if we're going to see anything like this again so it was great to be a part of it and shout out to chip and ash all the time because yeah they do bring me in a lot of the time when it comes to these projects to get me involved in the visuals so yeah as always shout out to you lot for tuning in i do appreciate you taking your time out to watch these videos hopefully you learn something from this um again if there's anything else you'd want me to break down or if you have any questions on this particular video that i haven't covered like you've got anything to ask about what i did where maybe i didn't cover it in enough detail just let me know and i will try and um, answer you in the comments below but yeah in the meantime please do like and subscribe definitely helps me and i will see you in the next video